He's a good girl, don't do it, not yet. Uh, now. Now. No, yo, 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 guys. You gonna feel better, my goodie. This is a mani. A manicure. Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, so today um, I have Dr. Caldwell coming out and uh, he's going to be firstly attending to Ginny's uh, claw. One of her claws is the third digit claw is growing into the paw pad. Thankfully, um, yesterday I noticed it and uh, I, I was wondering why she was sort of limping on the, the foot. Um, my colleague George thought that maybe uh, Vaiti and her had had a scrap. But as it turns out, um, when I took a closer inspection, the claw was actually growing into the paw pad. And then we also know that Maggie, dear old Maggie, has this uh, ongoing condition of the thickening of the, of the claw, as well as the, uh, the loss of elasticity of the ligaments, of the, the retractability of the claw is not as good as it used to be. And so her claw also needs attention. Hello, Doc. How's it? How are you? Lekker, lekker. You well? Long time no see. It's been a while. So we'll just uh, load Ginny in the night pen, which should go. It should be quite easy to do. Although she's probably run away now. Ginny! She saw the vet coming. George, do you have some meat? Yeah. Here we go, my girl. Hello. Hello. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. On the aeroplane, mate. Yeah, I think so. I thought I got something on the aeroplane. Uh, George, you might have to lock me in with her here. <coughs> Come. Yeah. Gula. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Just wait, yeah, yeah. Don't even move. Yeah, yeah. He's a good girl. Don't do it, not yet. Uh, now. Now. No, yo, 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 guys. Yeah. I'll tell you when. Now. Hello, my girl. Ready? Yeah. No. Change of, change of, change of behavior. Yo, yo, yo. Yep, you've gotten to you. You've had it now. <laughs> now, I, I, I'm never to be forgiven. I'm, I'm going to just back away. Today I'm using metatomidine and ketamine. I'm not using xylitol today. Um, because she's quite chilled. She's and chilled and it's not a huge procedure. Probably going to fly at you. George, you might have to give her a piece of meat. <laughs> Probably like in that corner or something. No, no, go from under the gate. Oh. Go from under the gate and get out of the seat. Give her another piece. I, I certainly don't want Ginny hating me. I mean, I'm trying to do nice here. We're trying to like take her claws down and she, she's hating on me. It's just stress. She's just stressed to be locked up alone. Um, actually damn lucky to get her in the second time because often when you close a gate on the line, <laughs> not going to come back in. So the fact that she came in twice is something. Um, the interesting thing is when you're in there with her, there's no animosity. The moment you close the gate on her and you're outside and she's inside, you can see the behavior change. So she knows that something's up. Yeah, she's good.
Are you helping, Kevin? Yeah, why not? Okay. Otherwise, my viewers think I don't do anything. It's bloody claws. Eh? I don't understand that. She's not even that old, eh, Doc? This one's also getting horrible. Shame, my girlie. Just show this up quickly. What a stuff up there. Eh? I was hoping, you know, I actually thought I was getting brave, eh? so I went and got my clippers. Yeah. And then I like went there and I was. Because I saw your photo was like really close. I thought, why the hell don't you just cut I know, it? So I know. So I got it here like this. Yeah. And I'm like going like this and she's like pulls away. Uh, and I go back again and she like pulls away. And I'm now, if I go, yeah. she might give her a little bit of a, a bit of a yeah, bite. she's not, I don't know. No, no she's not like a, a Meg or, okay, so now you I might chance it with that. And as you turn the four up, you <coughs> hold the nail up because I'm going to cut it there. Where's the other clip on there? Oh, thanks. Okay, cool. That's it. Like okay. I'm going to start here. All right, so these nails are growing long. And normally it's as a result of um, the activity becoming lower and they walk in with a different type of a gait because they become, as they get older, they become more stiff. Their joints are stiff when they get up, when they go down. They, they stop um, playing and with logs and trees and so on and they their whole way of walking and all, their whole gait changes because of the stiffness and the stiffness is mainly due to a little bit of arthritis in the back in the vertebral column called spondylosis and ankylosing spondylosis and that definitely changes their gait to a point where they actually turn their feet a little bit out or in and then the weight bearing on the different toes are different and also as a result of the, the, the age-related um, conditions, the, the ligaments that control the withdrawal of the nails uh, in and out become less elastic, elasticity reduces, and then they can't um, walk and, and, and wear their nails down like they should do. And it's mainly, 90% of the time, always the front, poor nails mm. that, that that overgrow and they also thicken I mean become, become exactly they yeah. they become totally thicker they this is very close to the bone so with a nail bed we call it a nail bed infection mm. it's not a pad infection like that but a nail it eventually becomes mm. a nail bed infection that that goes into the bone blood. very quickly. Into the yeah. bone. Yeah, into the bone. This goes into the blood, the yeah. one with the pad. This you must scrub down and we must soak. And I want to put a bit of that Rilex scene in there, okay? But I want a syringe as well and <coughs> squirt it out and flush it out. So that's she's pulling, eh? Yeah, she's, sure. she's, so she's sore. I'm also going to want to inject her with the keto thing. Okay. Uh, no, used one is fine. Just gonna put a little bit in there. We're gonna give her all the proper vitamins. Give, and her, stuff give her the whole cocktail. Yes. Where's Meg? Yeah, next enclosure. <coughs> we lined them up for you, like a sausage factory. I do see that. Yes, yeah, so the back ones are wearing nicely, eh? Yeah. <coughs> yeah we'll see. It's even slothing off and... Yeah, the yeah. back ones are always okay. Eh? Mm. Nice um, saturation there. 96%, that's good. Yeah. And like that. Done and like, like that, that, your claws are done. Done like that. There's the handiwork. <coughs> okay, guys, you just dra drag her off. So grab paws. You grab a thing, two, three. 
Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Is there a hole that side? Uh, no. No. Okay, there she goes. <coughs> she turned that on. Sorry, I just took the shot. Kevin, I should have told you that. <laughs> I was on your tail, dude. Just, yes. I'm quicker than your gun. Yes. That side. But we'll go in, yeah, hey. Yeah, yeah, we'll move it. Oh, i got to bend. Hey, Maggie. All right. There you go. Oh, she's a tad heavier. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a release. There's something oh, starting it. What's that? It's a cut. Uh, no, that's an injury. That's the one I was worried about. Check for that. Yes, do you brush her? I do. Uh, brush her. Uh, because her because her coat is like. No, I do brush her. Spot on. Eh? She loves being brushed. Yeah, no, it looks like it. You're gonna feel better, my goodie. Until next time. Did have receding gums. Nothing bad for a 20 year old. It's incredible though. She's yeah. an incredible lioness. Yeah. Good for another 10 years, Meg. Come on. Happy. Her claws are all trimmed. And uh, yeah, she's totally recovered, talking nicely. We're just about to let her out. Oh, yes, you want out. I don't blame you. I really don't. There we go. There we go. Oh, you're a little bit stumbly, but you're okay. Hey, my sweetie. Oh. Hello, my girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, look at Vietti. What a nice guy, sitting there waiting. Yeah, waiting for her to come out, eh? <laughs> All right, so, um, so Ginny is recuperated, and I think she's, she's been in a lot longer than Meg, so she's going to be much more stable on her feet. And I think she's going to be a lot happier ah, not having that ingrown claw, so. Let's let her out. Yeah, hey, big boy. Oh. Hello, sweetie. Yeah. Wow. You wanna hop out of there? Eh? Hey. You wanna hop out of there? You've forgotten all of that, eh? Bayetsi's been a bit worried. Okay, my sweetie. Yeah, I know you're not happy. But at least you're up and about and that's going to be a lot better. Okay, we'll leave you to it. See you later. All right, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Both uh, of the ladies are up and about. Um, I'm sure they're feeling a little bit groggy, but they're going to feel a lot better having had their nails trimmed. Uh, think of it as a manicure under an aesthetic. So, yeah, unfortunately, we can't do these kind of procedures with the lions awake. Um, even I have my limitations. Um, so, yeah, they're not going to keep still while you crunch their nails away with that, that big device. But anyway, everything went very well. I'm very happy. And uh, interestingly enough, guys, uh, the last time we did Meg's uh, claw was uh, January 2022. So it looks like these nails are growing back at a rate of like around about a year. And um, 
it seems as though we're going to have to be doing this kind of thing every year um, for a few of the, the individuals at the sanctuary. Um, so hope you enjoyed that video and um, if you did please do like and share. Uh, that's how we spread awareness about the, the plight of lions in captivity and the wild and it's also how we just spread the awareness about the channel and all the, the good things that happen here on the Lion Whisperer TV channel. All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching guys and until next time, bye.